this past week, Sony announced they will stop making 8K TVs. Do you think there's any value to increasing spatial resolutions beyond 4K? Is the only way to meaningfully improve displays today by increasing the temporal resolution uh, frame rate or refresh rate, I guess? Uh, John? Yes. <laughs> <No>. uh, <laughs> I actually think the temporal resolution problem is the big problem that's, that yes. TVs still face. And we're getting closer to having that solved from many different avenues. It is improving a lot, but it's true. Like if you're watching something, if you just 60 foot, 60 Hertz input on these screens, you're getting, still getting a lot of smearing. Uh, and if you're using other set techniques to solve that at a low refresh rate, there's still flaws there. It's a whole thing, but I think it's pretty obvious that people kind of have rejected the need for 8k TVs at the moment because one, uh, I think 4K is mostly sufficient for most use cases from where TVs are actually placed in a living room. But beyond that, just content pipeline isn't there. Hitting 8K anything is difficult. It requires a lot of hardware power. It's even on the PC side, it's not something you really see much of, right? Uh, it's not an easy thing to accomplish. So in, in the living room, for sure, I don't think 8K makes any sense. At this point, currently, maybe at some point it will, but right now there's just no point. And even for like video content, like video content film, due to the way that works, that could still benefit a lot from going up to 4K, but I feel like 8K, it's like diminishing returns at that point for the way things are usually filmed. Like you've bumped up against limits of camera lenses and such in most cases, and just movies don't look sharp enough to warrant that, right? Outside of very specific camera setups designed to film ultra sharp 8K footage, but it's just not currently that useful. Um, and we, you know, this has always kind of been the case, but I do feel like 8K might be the diminishing returns point where just our human eyes don't benefit that much from it unless you're sitting very close to an extremely large screen. Only yep. then is there some value, which is why I do think there is value in increasing resolutions beyond 4K, but mainly only in the PC space. Because mm -hmm. uh, yep. you sit close to a monitor, especially if you have like a large monitor, you know, increased resolution beyond 4K is is quite nice. Uh you get you can technically take advantage of more screen real estate up to a point and even then you can increase the zoom factor if you're too far ahead of that resolution curve and just get cleaner looking text rendering and everything is much sharper and you know it gets into that whole retina stuff that apple always went on about where like the you can no longer distinguish the individual sub pixel elements so that's where we're at so yeah mm -hmm. i'm happy to see companies focusing more on on increasing temporal resolution versus spatial because i think that that is the area where flat panels frankly still tend to fall short of crt technology mm -hmm. uh, yeah where, where Alex, we've we lost demo, something we had a demo this week of horizon forbidden west running on amd graphics hardware 8k 120. um cool but i guess for pcs there po possibly is some sort of application for it but I don't know if you're going to be choosing between high refresh rate and um, higher resolutions. Refresh rate's just going to win every time, isn't it? Oh, especially when you start getting into the realm of 8K. I would rather pour that into 240 hertz than I would pour that into 8K 120. Pretty much for almost any title. I, I can't even, you know. I'm sure Horizon looks great at 8K 120. For sure, it's why one not? Of those games that's like super, super dense in detail. Yeah, I mean, sure, but uh, <laughs> at the same it's, time, it's like I'd rather at 4K I would well. rather do 240 then. Honestly, uh, you know, I really would. I think because even with frame gen, I would rather do it because you're st the one thing that frame gen does, and this video still needs to come at some point soon enough, hopefully, is that you're going to be getting less of the sample and hold blur in your eye, like the persistence blur from your eye changes, even if the frame is a generated one. And yeah. um, I'd I'd vastly prefer 240 hertz at that point. So I, John, what John says though is right. I think it's in an editing environment, higher than 4K is useful because then maybe your preview monitor that is your monitor can actually hold yeah. the 4K content you're editing. Yes. Um, uh, I think that is useful. So like a 5K display, 6K display, 8K, you know, it's 
probably same applicable statement but just for like most games i'd really rather use almost all those gpu resources for like even that i wouldn't even run native 4k i'd say like well give me path tracing and i'll and i'll use dlss right Mm -hmm. or something like that i would i'm very much so keen on like transformative features that are not that are resolution agnostic actually 